In this season, when the year is winding down, I want to talk to you about why it's important to pay attention to what has your attention. <laughs> I'll be back to explain what I mean by that in just a moment. Welcome to Tuesday and another edition of Thoughts on Things. Pay attention to what has your attention. It's not just double talk. It's actually really good advice, especially if you're the leader of a business, company, organization, or team, but also just as an individual. The reason I say it's important to pay attention to what has your attention is that focus is powerful. So whatever we choose to focus on is going to directly influence our outcomes and our experience. So what are you focused on in this season? Are you focused on things you don't have? Are you focused on things that are problems? Are you focused on all the things you wish would go back to normal? <laughs> well, that's going to shape your outcomes in the end of this year and going into next. But if you will focus on the things that you actually have control over. Rather than focusing on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. Rather than focusing on the resources you're missing, focus on the resources you have. Rather than focusing on the people that you don't have, focus on those that you do. That's especially good advice coming into the end of December holidays. Spend time with your family. Pay attention to what has your attention. That's good advice in any season but especially in a challenging one like now. Disruptions are unavoidable. Being prepared, that's a choice. Is your team ready for the next disruption? We can help.